grown up in a small town when viewed as a useless orphan. My parents were killed in a Chumash raid 15 years ago when I was only two. Since then, I've lived with my drunk uncle who does nothing all day but drown his sorrows in a bottle. He tells me how he's better than this place. As for the women, competition's fierce. Guess I've never really moved fast enough. Good ones are taken, bad ones are married. That leaves me with one rose cook. Psychotic bitch of a female. I told her we were over with a year ago. She still thinks we're getting married. Let her go on believing this so she doesn't lose it and start breaking things. Threatening to kill herself. Guess I'm just too nice. Probably should have kicked her out into the cold a long time ago. Something's always stopped me. I had to get away from it all for a while, just to see what was out there. Just me, my rifle, my sleeping bag. God, it's a beautiful night. Don't you move a muscle, you hear? Or I'll send you to meet your maker. Now where's the money? I don't have any money. Just my rifle, some bread in the canteen. Now get on your damn face and kiss some dirt. Look through your stuff, boys. Those are some nice boots you got there. Don't touch my boots.
Come out. I know you're in there. Come out. I promise I won't hurt you if you just come out. I swear to God, if you don't come out of there, I'm coming after you. Where do you think you're going? I tied those ropes myself. There's no way you're getting out of those. If you don't stop squirming, then we're gonna have a problem here. Who are you and why are you doing this? <laughs> I'm from another time and place. I, I'm not following you. I'm from some place far away from here. Listen lady, quit the bullshit and cut me loose. Happy now? Oh Jack, I've missed you so. These last few days have been unbearable. We've grown so close that even being a few feet away from you makes me hurt inside. I'm not going to give up looking for you. Rose, we gotta get moving. When we lay eyes on each other, hopefully soon, I know that it will be magical. Date, March 15th, 1887. Where I come from, you don't see places like this. You think so? This place looks pretty bland to me. So what's your name, stranger? My name is Jackson, Jackson Caldwell, but you can call me Jack. What happened to you? Well, the bandits got the best of me. <laughs> I can tell. Do you have any water? <laughs> Thanks. So, where's the nearest town? I want to see what this place looks like before I leave. It's about five miles that way. All right, let's go. Uh, no, see, I don't really wanna. Fine, see you never. Hey, w wait up. Looks like Jack came through here a couple hours ago. We must be getting close. Jack! I'm coming! <laughs> Do you ever look at the sky and Wonder if there's something better out there? Sometimes. Well, I, I look at it and I think that a lot. Time just seems to move too fast for me. That's why I... Uh, Where did you say you were from again? Doesn't matter. Do you have someone waiting for you back home? 
<laughs> no. Believe it or not, I've never had a boyfriend. I have a hard time believing that. What about you? You're a pretty good looking guy. No, there aren't very many options. Sorry to hear that. Not as sorry as I am. We need to go now. Go where? Anywhere but here. Do you want to come back with me? To where? To a different time. What do you mean? It's the future. You've never seen anything like it before. I don't even know your name. My name's Courtney Johnson. They're gonna get here soon. We gotta hurry. You think too much. Thank you.